been having some fun this week in my journal. My journal's um, taken off. I don't know if you've seen um, my page. In um, I have posted it. It probably doesn't. You probably don't appreciate that. There's my little family there. Can you see? It's not actually my family. It's Tim Holtz figures. This is my Punch and Judy show. <laughs> It's a bit bonkers, but it kind of goes with the... Oh yeah, here we are. We're really nearly 23rd. Hi Tanya, hi Lisa. Very nearly at the end of the month. We've got about seven days left, I think, to enter my Rainbow Heart Challenge. Okay, so what you've got to do, this was my entry. What you've got to do is your version of your Rainbow Heart, Your doesn't have to be in a book, whatever your style of crafting is, or just on a sheet of paper, a drawing, a, a making, anything you like. And then you need to post it onto your page um, and share it into the Fairy Sheet Painting Forum. If you're not a member, you need to go and join and share it into the Painting Forum and write on it, hashtag my rainbow heart challenge and hashtag um, painting challenge. No. Hashtag magical painting. Honestly, I'm getting all muddled up with all the hashtags. So that's what you need to do. I'll write it down underneath. I've got seven days and what's up for grabs is for every entry, a little pot of fairy chic art pot is going into the prize. Good reef. So here's all these gorgeous little pots. There's 100 mils in each one of these. They'll go quite a long way. Um, and they are up for grabs, one for each entry. The whole lot will go into one pot and I will draw at the end of the month a prize based uh, randomly on who's taken part, not on ability. And whoever, however many entries I've got, that's how many pots will be up for grabs. And I will post it out to the lucky winner. So that's cool. Um, so what we're going to be doing today, I don't know if you remember ages ago when I first did my eggshell heart, because if you remember this, um, thank you Louise, this, my rainbow heart was made out of, it was a bit of cardboard, can you see that? And then some textured paste and broken up eggshell. And when I made this, Hi Debbie, at the same time I made a mermaid just to see if it would work on a bit of paper. So this is my mermaid tail, This and this was the head. I didn't like the head, so I cut it off. <laughs> That's what happens. Oh well. See, I don't really like the head, it wasn't big enough. So I've, and I also had the problem of it being attached and going over the bendy page, which I didn't want. So the only thing I've done this morning is glue this down because I thought it might take a little while to properly stick. So in terms of the page prep, it's got its usual paper. So strips of paper stuck on it. I've then gessoed it and I've gone like that and opened it to give it some texture. And then this bit that you can see here, this is this stencil and as you can see you have to be a little bit careful because if you go into that bit it doesn't look like bubbles you have to stencil carefully paste through the specific holes and miss out these bits so it was a bit of a fiddly job um, but I just wanted the sort of bubbly effect and then I've done one of my normal faces just sketched her in ready to crack on and have a go now, I'm going to do this mermaid today with you guys. The other thing I'm going to add to this page, while I've got it upright, and if you want to learn how to do these, because they're so cool, I've got a video on YouTube. I did it ages ago. So you might have to trawl through a bit. But it's called a Bohemian Bead, Boho Bead. And it's, um, cut a long story short, a piece of straw inside and a wire up the middle which is fastened at the bottom and at the top and then fabric and wire and so forth but there's a whole tutorial on how to do it on my youtube channel so you can do that so that's what the eggshell looks like 
when it was on the texture before it was painted as my mermaid tail. Yeah. I think the thing with these bohemian beads is you don't really know what to do with them. I've got quite a few that I made, which you'll see if you watch the video. They're bendy because they've got a wire inside them. I don't know what to do with them, but I thought it might go with the, um, the whole mermaid theme and I could just put a hole and tag it on and it would just be one of those dangly bits that happened outside. It'll catch up in a sec. I tried to flip it, even the flip thing doesn't seem to work anymore. There we go, she's gone back. Right, I could even go a little bit more, couldn't I? Okay. We have had some really exciting news in um, the club this week. We have got, I have managed to pin down, literally, um, four wonderful furniture painting guests that are going to be appearing one at a time over the next four months. First one is this Sunday and is Royce Bell from Recycled Treasures and she is fantastic and many of you that follow me also follow her. The response to the guest list has been phenomenal um, and some of you have said to me oh my goodness how did I not know about this person before but all of these people are people that I have followed for a long long time in awe of their amazing stuff. So I'm really excited and a couple of them have never done a live before. Um, so again, we're gonna have some practice behind the scenes, which is another thing that Fairy Sheet Club offers anyone that wants to have a go. So we're gonna have some practice, private, one-to-one, -one, and then they're gonna do their very first live, proper live in the club exclusively. And I can't flip in wait. going to be very cool. Yeah, I can't wait. Roughly. So I've got these Jane Davenport, um, I don't know what they're called. Fire inside. I don't know, pens? I don't know. They came in a tin. And Fiona gave them to me. And I haven't used them before. So I'm going to have a go. So, I think I need to, it comes with a sharpener, so let's have a go. They look a little bit like, as do all Jane Davenport's um, stuff, looks a bit like eyeliner, but let's see. I want to see if they blend. Yep, they blend. So if any of you want to join in um, on these lives and see these amazing people, the link for the club is at the top. You can join for as little as six pounds a month and you will get access to all of that. Um, we have three levels and depending on what level you get, depends on the level of discount you get on products that are available within the club. So it's suitable for hobbyists and people that just want to get involved. Six pounds a month. Suitable for people that use paint quite a bit and want to have a bit more discount, 25% discount, £12 a month. And if you are serious at doing this as your business, being a creative business, then you need the £25 a month. 
and in that uh, level we do business tutorials social media you get up to 40% no, you get 40% discount on all of Ferris Sheet products but you also get lots of discounts on lots of other paint products and related products you get tutorials every month we've got all sorts coming up it's very exciting so have a look if nothing else check out the link so i'm doing a very rough um body coloring version thing here work quite well okay i'm gonna give her some rosy cheeks oh yeah drama sticks thank you fiona hi sharon i'm gonna give her some pink these are called drama sticks you can see why because they're quite bold somewhere I'm going to do a bit in her main hair so I'm going to use my color sticks now you've seen me use these before and I think she should have um, sort of turquoisey hair so these act like crayons um, distress crayons really And I just add a bit of colour where I want it. And obviously I want more than one colour. Because then I'm going to use a brush to define this lot. Okay. Give her a green bikini. So let's get that brush in motion. Hi Marie, how are you doing? Just woke up at 7am. Oh, if that was me, I would just turn over and go back to sleep. So you can see I literally just scribbled some lines and I'm using a really big brush deliberately. And it's a slanty brush, um, which is really good for just holding the paint and shifting it in, I'm, I'm looking for hair movement if that makes sense so I've kind of drawn out some lines in pencil so I've got them as a rough but they really were rough and now but they're giving me the direction that I need I think that bit of hair should be going through there so again this is very early stages so for those of you that don't know my lineup for the um for the guests is um i've got royce bell from treasured royce cycle treasures and she's coming on on sunday in my club and I have Kristen Min from Eclat, Eclat Designs with Kristen and her furniture is amazing it's completely out of the park um, so I'm really excited to meet her 
Um, and we have, and this is another lady I've followed forever, um, Heike, who does just the most amazing furniture. And she's in Malta in March, and she's very kindly agreed to do um, a live from there. And she's going to be talking to us and showing us a little bit of what she does. Um, and then we have... Jackie Hoffman, and if those of you have not come across this amazing lady's work, you seriously need to. She's done um, a gypsy caravan of note, um, all done out in IOD moulds and stamps. It's absolutely phenomenal. And she's never done a live before, and she's going to do one for us. So, the club is where it's happening. So I'm using this, this is again a Jane Davenport um, marker pen. It's really juicy black and it doesn't seem to have any problems going over the, the waxiness of these crayons that I've got underneath, which is helpful. A Posca would be fine too, um, but the Poscas that I've got um, and I will be using them in a bit, are fatter. You can get thinner Poscas, which would be fine. Uh, the ones I've got are quite fat, so for the detail that I'm doing here, it is better to use this. She might as well be looking happy, huh? So she's starting to come together. And if you haven't seen her gypsy caravan, I think I might have sent you a link to it, didn't I? It is amazing, inside and out. Must have taken her decades. That's going to be one of my questions. Once I've done the main strokes, I try and break it up a little bit with some little, and I don't just do a line, I do a little, can you see, a little section. If you want to go back and look at the um, other pages that I've done and how I've done them, the videos are all on my YouTube channel. I don't know, Fiona, if you could put a link up if you're watching to my YouTube channel because um, I convert edit after my lives to shorter versions, fast forwarding sections, etc. to make it easier to watch again if you want to sort of revamp how to do it so I think I've pretty much got a tutorial on all the pages here so I just do the details of the eyelashes but I will go in with um, a Posca. I've got some 
mess though I need to sort out. Let's see if this will do it. Yeah, not bad. There was some texture here from the textured paste that I put on with the raised stencil. I had to actually pick a little bit of it off because it went over where the eye was. I'm going to use this to fill in. Okay, so I've got a white Posca pen. Thank you, Fiona. So my white Posca pen, I'm going to put my eye in the highlight. So we're going to do one big dot, a little dot underneath. And then here we're going to do a line. I'm going to blot that line out with my finger. You see? Do the same here. Big dot, little dot, line to the edge of the iris is it that should give us i'm just doing the usual highlights which is top of the cheeks just remember this because it will serve you well top of the cheeks just under the eyebrow top of the cheeks bit on her nose there and she could even have a bit going up there that's fine and the bottom lip the top lips always darker so the white is is like magic because it all it ties it all back I always love putting the white in force myself to do it near the end because it it then ties it in so I'm doing some white obviously we can add white to the hair more scribbles and it, every layer of this helps develop the hair i'm not trying to recreate every strand but i'm i'm trying to show you the movement of her hair So I'm going around with my white. I think she probably needs a bit of white here. Let's do a bit of white there. Right, now I did go over this all with ink. This is eggshell put into textured paste. I've got feeling this Posca pen's just gonna dissolve into it because the ink was very strong in pigment but we could try just a bit and I'll see if it dissolves and fades so she's looking quite pretty let's just get a little bit of paint in those areas You can definitely go to YouTube and put in Flower She Can Pour In and it will come up. I have, you will see my YouTube channel and you will kind of see my journey because I started off as a furniture painter and there was a lot of tutorials on furniture painting. Uh, there's a lot of fun. Some split lives on there from my days when I was in the shop. And, uh, and then we've moved on to more um, artwork, which is my first passion really. And now I work at home. It's much more practical than doing a huge piece of furniture every week. 
but yeah my journey's there for everyone to explore if you want to so i very chic has got his own stencil brushes it's back to front i think um and they've only fairly recently come out and so i'm going to be using them to add a bit of texture to this already beautiful sea so let's go in with a bit of so i'm just going to hold it in place it's going to be very hit and missy because the surface isn't um flat to start with but that's okay I do not have a magical painting hand. I just play a lot. And I'll say to anyone that anyone can do this. It is just practice and finding a style. I have literally watched hours of YouTube and admire so many people's work. And then I want to have a go and make it my own. And I put ideas together and then gradually I come up with my own ideas and I find that my style has kind of amalgamated into oh this is how I do it but it didn't start like that I'm gonna do this a bit freehand I think and I'm gonna do some I want to do some Posca over my Yeah, you can definitely do that, Angie. That would be very cool. I've always wanted to do a screen, actually. I don't know where I'd put it. I haven't got a big enough house, but I've want, I want one. My other want, just as you know, guys, is I want one of those libraries with a ladder. <laughs> Every time I see one on telly, I say to hubby, oh, I've been telling you for years, when are you going to come up? When are you going to do it? <laughs> He looks at me like I'm a, I'd like, I'd love a reading room with a little chair and a little table and a little lamp and a ladder. The ladder's the important bit with one of those little balcony, you know, push along bits that you can stand on and browse through. Definitely. Hands up who'd like one of those. You know when you have those conversations about what would you do if you won the lottery and hubby's like well I'll buy 600 motorbikes and go abroad and we do this and do that and I'm like well no I'd have a library with a ladder and then I would have a chef <laughs> to cook for me delicious meals every day seems to be holding up those scales so I'm going to do a bit more here now I've got some some sequin beads some I thought these might look really nice on here look but I think the white ones look better. Now I haven't got, I'll put some jewels in her hair as well, that'd be nice wouldn't it? Yay! I've got to get gluing 
Let's make a start with those because that's going to take a while. Ideally, hot glue gun, but I haven't got it loaded. So we're going in with tacky glue. My tacky glue is coming to the sad end of its life. <laughs> Good job it dries clear, eh? Let's make use of that. Sequence would work good too, I think. This is going to take a while to properly dry. I might be able to lift this up. So I might need a bit of touching up with those. Actually, that went on quicker than I thought, so I could probably do a few more. Yeah, they kind of make it. I was looking for ages for that sequin, um, what do you call it, the mesh stuff that you get. I've got some, I can't find it for love and money, but that would have made a good stencil too. What do we think to black? I'll show you black. Hearts, if you want black, seek the most. Yeah, that's it. black okay okay I bought a bag of these from Alibaba I think Aliexpress get hundreds for a few quid yeah, I don't want to go mad let's keep them at the bottom let's yeah you're not sure on black I'm not I like it in her hair, it seems to be giving the shadow. Maybe I could keep them over there. So we'll go with that. Sort of. Do we approve? Is that better? In the hair. black and take your advice guys I'll just put a few in her hair just to say it kind of gives the shadows but I'll keep the rest out <sighs> George has taken to these crystals she's got that she sticks on her face on the top of her cheeks it looks quite cool and then she puts them here as well i think they look quite cool right they are going to take a while to dry off but tacky glue is pretty good so i think it should be fine that one right brilliant thank you Ruth so I think you'll agree that's much better than my original See, this is what I talk about like developing is that I had a go and then I didn't like it so I cut it out so now it's got to go 
but it's time to reiterate this is as I say my fatter um, Oscar try and go around the edges of this It's just at this stage is just going over anything you want a little bit more emphasis on shadow and I just do that with some little lines down one side works quite well I'll take that white one out and that one there we go it's better so as we come to the end the last thing I always do on all my journal pages, we'll have a flick through, is get a darker outside edge. So seeing as we've got some, some really good turquoise going on in there, I'm going to use that. So I start with one of these crayons and I'm quite loose with it. This time I'm not going to add water to it, I'm going to rub it in with my fingers. You'll see the difference the water version although still quite vibrant really dilutes it down okay. so I don't tend to stick with one color actually I'm going to use this darker blue this is a good blue and I've still got to put my bohemian bead on Okay, so just like that, and then use your finger, I even go up the edge a little bit, doesn't matter. So it makes quite a different edge. But it gives you a picture of frame, I think. It just, even though this is quite smudgy now, once it's dry, you won't be able to move it. Don't ask me how long it takes to dry, but I presume overnight-ish. Yeah, much better. Blue finger. I might even finish that a little bit more with the stone grey ink, just to get a bit of a black as well in there. Beads falling off. <laughs> it's going to be a while for them to. There. Well, I'm not very happy with that bit there. That's annoying me. It's got too much white on it. I need to put it in. dry that needs another highlight so here's my bohemian bead and I'll say there is a video on YouTube and I just sort of look nice falling down in her hair here so if I just use um, normal hole punch 
to I don't want to go too far in because the catch is I don't want to ruin anything here so if I just do it actually if I do it this side then I can do it in the middle of that petal it won't there we are that should be fine so I don't know if this is going to stretch or if I'm going to have to add another ring to it might have to add another ring to it yeah thought that might happen Let's see what I can do I might have to establish a ring some here going to go through that either I'm going to have to establish a ring um, I have got some but not out so this is going to go there with a ring and it will just hang down on the side of the book so you're going to have to picture I'll take a picture of it so I'm, I can't lift it up because of the glue but for those of you that wanted to see the other pages um, this is the one we did last week. This was all of us in it together, practicing drawing some faces. This is my uh, one with nature. Angels are watching over you. This is a prep page ready to do. I haven't done that one yet. This was my... off with the head my rainbow heart guys get your rainbow hearts in you've got one week to enter them there's my blue girl and then there's my punch and judy that i did this week i've still got lots of pages to do i've got some oh i did another one there and this it's kind of what I'm talking about. It's not really my style and I'm not very happy with it. I've kind of had a go at someone else's style and it's fine. But it doesn't feel like it's me. So I feel like I'm going to end up not liking this page in my book. and wanting to go over it and do something different. Um, and that's just a personal, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I feel that as I've practiced, you can see these these all feel like they're done by the same person. Yeah. And that one doesn't. And that's what happens when you, you know, have a go at other people's style, which I think you should. It's great. Have a go. And then your own style emerges. I don't think there's any more this way. Okay. I'm going to lift the camera back up. Just say goodbye to you. Oh, fancy. Right. So, uh, sadly, I can't lift the thing up. I think all the pearls have fallen off. But there we go. She's a bit of fun. And she's still missing her bohemian bead. That's going to go down the side. And I think she looks much more fun than the original beheaded one. <laughs> I just went, no. So go check this this YouTube out. This is cool. Make these. These are loads of fun and they're very easy. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for all your lovely shares. Thank you for all your lovely words. And um, thank you for showing up every week. It is really, really cool of you to join us. I hope that you will consider hopping over and having a look in our club um and see, seeing what it's all about the link is at the top of this feed for you or if you're watching this on youtube it's in the uh blurb underneath um you can see what you can see what it's all about without committing to anything so have a look um and i hope to see you in there thank you for your lovely hearts see you again next week i don't know what i've got planned but by next week we'll have seen Royce Bell in the club, live, just for us exclusively, and I can't wait. So tune in for Fiona tonight, she's on at six, um, and I know you're going to love what she's doing, because she's doing all that lovely stuff with the book, that beautiful book that I messaged her, I can't believe you're ripping that up, but she's got a second. <laughs> so, we'll 
see you then. <laughs> see you later. Bye.